Good morning guys. Okay, so today is a little bit of a different video on my channel. I'm gonna do a live study session with me because I personally need one and if you're watching this video you also need one. <laughs> but before we are gonna get into that, I will be having some breakfast. I mean doesn't ooh, <laughs> doesn't this look good? This is a peanut butter smoothie bowl with homemade granola with blueberries and dark chocolate on it um, and I'm also having some coffee. This is the gorgeous fairy loot mug that was included in their September box and I have like a, I don't know how I would describe this coffee but it's kind of like a honey cinnamon oat milk cappuccino. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm really loving this when I'm home and drinking coffee and I'm not at work where I can get coffee for free constantly. <laughs> Almost 9.30 in the morning. In 30 minutes, I have a little meeting with my research project group. So we have to discuss some things regarding our research proposal. And I need to do like the finishing touches. I need to write the abstract. I need to write the relevance. I need to check our whole written piece for like spelling mistakes and how the sentences are built up. Like if all of that is okay. And I need to make a little picture that goes with our method of our research proposal. So I have lots of things to do. I also want to study for my final, but we shall see how far I'll come in this live study session with me video. Before the meeting, before the studying, I'm going to read a little bit more in The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I bought this book at a bookstore very close to my hometown in Breda. That bookshop is called Lattes and Literature. It's an all English book shop which is amazing and I've heard so many good things about this book especially from Brit from basically Brit she's one of my very close friends and she adored the crap out of this book it has super short chapters so I am already on page 61 which is quite far in and it's a really short book so I'm gonna read some whilst I'm eating my breakfast and then I'll come right back at you once we're gonna do the study session no more procrastinating <laughs> Okay, so it's just a little past 11 o'clock. I just finished the meeting. I finished reading my last chapter of the Midnight Library. I cannot leave my book in like the middle of a chapter. <laughs> so my plan for our studying session is that we will do 25 minutes of like studying, focusing on like the task that you have to do. Then we'll have like a five minute chitty chat session, like a little catch up session about my life or you just mute me for five minutes and you just have your own five minute break. And then we'll do another like 25 minutes of studying so that we have like about an hour worth of studying session and um, perhaps if you want to do more you can put this video on repeat so I won't be talking the only thing that you will be hearing is like that ticking on my laptop um, and I need to like make a little image of our experiment so I will um, draw a little bit of that but right now I'm gonna shut up <laughs> um, and we're gonna do a study session so 25 minutes. Let me set a timer. Um, sometimes I might have to check my phone because we are working on this paper together. So I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay. 25 minutes are starting. Good luck with studying.
Oh my god, sometimes those alarms. Okay, I don't know how far you got with studying. Let me also adjust the light. It looks really strange. Um, I don't know how far you guys got with studying. I don't know how far I'm done with my graphic that I need to make, but I think it's looking pretty neat. Um, let me give you guys a little bit of an update about my life. Like we are gonna talk together, just have a little chitty chat for five minutes, or you could mute me for five minutes. Um, because as you guys have probably noticed, <laughs> I haven't been that active on um, booktube lately. And that's just because of school. <laughs> um, that is always, that's always been the reason when I've been a little bit absent, like school is taking up so much of my time. And this year until so far has been no exception as well. So the thing is, some people might know this about like how my school plan, my bachelor's degree is going until so far. I have a little bit of an extension. I took some time, took some rest, especially in my second year and also in my third, my last year, to kind of do everything a little bit more slowly, have some more time for myself, um, try to figure out a bit more of like what I want to do with my life because I, especially in my second year with biomedical sciences, noticed that this is not something that's going to make me happy and that I want to do in the future. So I was like over halfway through the studies and I've put a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort into my bachelor's degree until so far and I um, finished every single course. I got like good enough grades, good enough. <laughs> so I was like, I, I need to finish it. I can do it. I, I'm gonna at least give it a go and try it. Um, but last year I've really noticed what I kind of do prefer and that's more of like psychology. So my plan for this school year is that I'll be done with writing my thesis um, at the beginning of February and I'm gonna start writing my thesis on November 9th. So it's pretty soon. <laughs> In like three weeks, I'm gonna start writing my thesis about sex and gender bias in cardiovascular biomedical research. It's gonna be a little bit of a different type of thesis than normal biomedical sciences students do because they usually do a lot of lab work and um, really work with cells and stuff like that. But I noticed that like microbiology and stuff like that, I find that so boring. And let's say that about, 70 to 80 percent of biomedical sciences until so far with every single course has been a lot of microbiology and how everything functions in a cell and then it becomes just too small for me to i don't know maybe see the bigger picture like it i just don't really care <laughs> and i notice like how can some people be so passionate about what happens in a cell and like a certain protein and how that functions and like they want to know everything about that protein and I just don't care. Um, but yeah, I am um, gonna try and get through the selection of psychology at Utrecht University because that's where I study right now and I do like the university and how it works. Um, and I think I will find more of like a passion, a passion or like my goal in life, something that I see myself do a little longer in the future and work in that field. So let's hope I can do that. But oh my gosh, you guys, this is my last course, pathology, pathology. I don't know how to say it in English. This is literally my last course. And like in nine days, I hopefully <laughs> have my last final. Um, and once I have like, I need to get a five out of 10 and then everything is fine. So if I get a five out of 10 for that, I'm just done with biomedical sciences courses and stuff like that, which is insane to think about. Um, like three, three and a half years, they go by so quickly, even though I did not like my bachelor's degree. Um, and I wanted to say something else about that as well. And now I've forgotten. Yeah, it's just my thesis has taken up a lot of time as well during the last month. Like I needed to make a research proposal and I'm having another meeting tomorrow with one of my supervisors. Um, I'm scared for my thesis, but I think a lot of people are scared for it. But I was thinking of also making like a thesis vlog type of thing and like 
vlog how my writing experience and how the research is going and it might give like a nice insight into what writing a thesis kind of is like for me and uh, maybe you can see me struggle. I'm pretty sure I'm going to struggle a lot um, and it might help you thesis writers, future thesis writers as well to kind of see another person struggling um, and spending her time doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna round up this conversation because we have to get back to studying, but that is why I have been so absent and not consistent with booktube. School is my priority number one at the moment because I just need to finish this bachelor's degree. Like I just want my diploma um, and then I can focus on booktube again. So hopefully from like January, February on, I will be really active on booktube and I'm so excited for that. So that's something that I'm definitely like looking forward to um and that will be my reward like lots of reading lots of time spending here in the book community um so yeah i just really wanted to give you guys that update because i haven't had any motivation to really like film and edit a video i also don't have a lot of time so i thought that this studying session would be perfect to study and catch up so let's go on <laughs> with studying. I'll put another timer for 25 minutes and um, then our studying session is done. So we can do it. Let's go.
Oh my god, I hate timers so much. <laughs> okay, guys, that was the study session. I hope that you've been able to be a little bit more productive because of this. I remember watching a real-time study session from Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. I will leave a link to her study session here in the screen because if you want to study more, definitely go check out her study session as well. It was so calming, so nice. Um, I have been able to make the graphic for our research proposal, so I'm very happy with that. And now I just have to write a lot of things for the proposal as well. So, yeah, I uh, got shit done. <laughs> like I said, I want to thank you so much for watching this study session with me. If you want to have more study sessions in the future, then let me know because I could use some, especially with my thesis coming up. Good luck with whatever that you are going to do next. Let me know where you needed the study session for. Very curious to see what you all do. And yeah, hopefully I will see you soon with a bookish video because I cannot wait to talk more about books again. Thank you so much for being here with me and I hope that you have a nice day. Bye!